Today, we're going to see if the top 10 Madden teams since 2000 would each win the Super Bowl. Once again, another big shout out to MaddenRatings.Wheelie.com. They have every single rosters overall in every Madden since the late 90s. And we were able to go through Madden by Madden and see which teams had the highest overall. And so we're going to see if each of them would end up hoisting Lombardi. And we're going to start with the teams tied for 10th place. This is the 95 overall crew. You have the Madden 01 Jaguars, the Madden 01 Rams, the Madden 07 Panthers, the 09 Chargers and Colts, and the Madden 19 Eagles. Here are the Madden 01 Jaguars. You had Brackens, Boselli, Jimmy Smith, Hardy Nickerson. Look at all these 90 and above. That's like almost 10 players. Mark Brunel, quarterback. Fred Taylor at a running back. Very underrated. I think a lot of people don't realize how good he was in his prime. And O-line, of course, nasty with two tackles in the 90s. D-line, also disgusting. Cornerbacks, you had Aaron Beasley, Fernando Bryant, Carnell Lake. He low-key looked like Key from Key and Peele. The elite <laughs> special teams play as well, man. Jaguars looking good. Now, let's go to the Rams. Okay, Kurt Warner, Kevin Carter, Marshall Falk, Orlando Pace. Disgusting, man. This is the greatest show on turf. Offense, man, great tight ends. O-line, of course, disgusting. D-line, I mean, you can see why both of these teams were a 95 overall and a perfect world they would meet up in this simulation in the Super Bowl in the AFC the Jaguars go 11 and 5 tied for the best record and the Rams go 9 and 7 so both teams make the playoffs that's a good start gonna simulate the entire playoffs see if they can get to the Super Bowl no Rams go home in the wild card round Jaguars made it to the conference championship game they lost by three here's what they did on the season Brunel 27 touchdowns Fred Taylor 16 on the ground 10 sacks for Tony Brackens four Picks for Key from Key and Peel. Warner had himself a nice season, 26 touchdowns, only five picks. Marshall did what he does. Had a nasty season receiving and rushing 2,000 yard receivers. 10 sacks for London Fletcher and four picks for Allen and Light. We are now in Madden 07. Carolina Panthers were at 95 as well. 97 overall Steve Smith with Julius Peppers and a bunch of other guys, 90 plus and above. Now their quarterback, Jake DeLone, 92 overall. Great running back duo with Foster and Williams Keyshawn Johnson at wide receiver number two so they're looking very solid on the offensive side of football O-line looking really good Peppers Rucker and Chris Jenkins on the defensive line all 90 and above you had a young Thomas Davis Ken Lucas at CB Mike Minter at free safety nasty roster Panthers go 13 and 3 first in the NFC Jake DeLone with a solid season 29 touchdowns 8 INTs Foster 1300 yards on the ground steve smith 1300 yards through the air eight interceptions for ken lucas and 10 sacks for mike rucker the panthers lost in overtime to oh. seattle 27 to 30 here we go in madden 09 the chargers who are 95 overall led by 299 overalls in lt and antonio gates he had a 90 overall philip rivers sproles as the backup running back chambers vincent jackson your wide receivers one and two mcneil Hardwick. I mean, look at this offensive line. So stacked. D-line pretty solid as well. 97 overall Jamal Williams. 97 overall Sean Merriman. You had Cromartie and Quentin Jammer at cornerback. Eric Weddle, a very young Eric Weddle at strong safety. Nate Kading and Mike Cyphers. Nasty special teams as well. Meanwhile, the Colts had a 99 overall Peyton Manning and Bob Sanders. So the Sheriff leads the way for this 95 overall team. You had Joseph Adon at a running back reggie wayne and marvin harrison dallas clark disgusting pass catchers o-line absolutely filthy jeff saturday at center you had mathis on one side dwight freeney on the other one gary brackett at mob bob sanders leading away for the defense Vinatieri and hunter smith on the special teams chargers go eight and eight they don't make it to the playoffs colts go 13 and three they have the best record in the afc rivers threw way too many interceptions 21 only five less than the amount of touchdowns he threw but lt 1600 yards 17 rushing touchdowns chambers fell short of a thousand receiving yards seven sacks for castillo to lead the way seven interceptions for quentin jammer just couldn't get them to the postseason meanwhile the colts peyton manning had 42 touchdowns six interceptions
receptions, disgusting ratio, 871 yards for Joseph Adai, Reggie Wayne, 1,300 yards, 13 touchdowns, Harrison was second in both categories, 12 sacks for Robert Mathis to lead the way, 4 interceptions for Kelvin Hayden, the Colts make it to the Super Bowl, stay tuned for later on in the video, we'll have footage of this Super Bowl, but credit to Indy for being the first team to make it there, now we're in Madden 19, only one team we're looking at in this one, and that's the Philadelphia Eagles, who are in 95 in this one, so many 90 and above, but this is a really solid roster, top to bottom, 86 overall wins, competent play at pretty much every single position, O-line, really, really solid, four guys at a 90 or higher, D-line, you had Bennett, Fletcher, Brandon Graham, Simba at MLB, so linebackers bringing us down a little bit, but as you can see, man, it still equals up to a 95, we go 9-6-1, and one, second in the NFC East, but we do make it to the playoffs, in the wild card game, we beat the Falcons 24-21, divisional round, we lost to the Rams 23-41, still a pretty solid season, 4,000 yards for Carson, 29 touchdowns, 7 picks, did not have a 1,000 yard rusher, Ajayi led us with 800 yards, Ertz had the most receptions, but Aguilar and Alshon both had a 1,000 yards receiving, Simba had the most tackles, 15 sacks for Brandon Graham, 10 for Fletcher Cox, and then 3 picks from Nigel Bradham, not enough to get to the Super Bowl unfortunately. Now we have 4 teams that are tied for 5th in terms of the highest overall since 2000. That's the Madden 06 Eagles, the Madden 07 Seahawks and Steelers, and the Madden 09 Cowboys. We begin in Madden 06 with the Philadelphia Eagles. 99 overall, David Akers with a 98 B. Doc Owens, McNabb, Trey Thomas, so many 90 and aboves. And again, the quarterback position, most important position, has someone competent. So I'm feeling good going into this season. Owens was the disgusting when he was here. Wish he could have stayed a little bit longer. O-line was always really good. I don't know how they do it in the front office. Constantly have good trenches on both sides of the football. Jeremiah Trotter. Can't remember the last time we had an MLB as good as him in Philadelphia, man. The DBs were good as well. Of course, b Dog Weapon X with a very solid, strong safety next to him. Quentin Michael behind Michael Lewis. I mean, this team top to bottom was disgusting. Unfortunately, Philadelphia goes 8-8. and they do not make it to the playoffs 26 touchdowns 12 picks for donovan mcnab 60 percent completion percentage did not have the best running game not even a 700 yard rusher owens did his thing though 1100 yards 13 touchdowns 12 sacks for Corey simon walker had 11 five picks for dawkins and michael lewis here are the rankings offense was not bad 16th in total yards top half in every major category defense slightly below average they had a great pass defense good at stopping the teams from scoring but could not get stops when it mattered man unfortunate ending for this 96 overall team now we're looking at the madden 07 seahawks who are also a 96 overall you had walter jones 99 quarterback matt hasselbeck 98 sean alexander max strong 97 overall you had daryl jackson so offense looking absolutely stacked man that's the theme of a lot of these teams well not just the offense defense looking really solid as well Lofa Tatupu, Julian Peterson Marcus Trufant a lot of great players on both sides of the football same overall as the Steelers in the same exact Madden Pittsburgh had Palomalo and Feneca as their highest overall Big Ben was a 92 you had Willie Parker and Deuce Staley at a running back Heinz Ward Santonio at wide receiver Heath Miller at tight end O-line unbelievable D-line a little bit worse but you had Casey Hampton the 97 overall James Ferrier, Joey Porter, you had a young Debo Harrison, Ryan Clark, again, top to bottom, just exceptional. Steelers only go 8-8. Eight and eight. They do not make it to the playoffs, unfortunately. Seahawks end up with the 5 seed. They make it to the postseason. 46 touchdowns, 5 interceptions for Matt Hasselbeck, 1,800 yards, 9 touchdowns for Sean Alexander. Jackson had 1,100 yards. On defense, it was Julian Peterson with the most tackles, 
12 sacks from Bryce Fisher to lead the way, and then a bunch of guys with two INTs. Big Ben with a solid season, 22 touchdowns, eight INTs. Willie Parker led the way with 856 yards rushing. Heinz Ward, 1,100 yards, and also 11 touchdowns through the air. Six sacks for Larry Foote to lead the way. Eight interceptions from Townsend. Hasselbeck finishes second behind Mark Bolger for MVP. And would you look at that? Seattle makes it to the Super Bowl. No Super Sim just yet, so we're going to do one drive on offense and defense just to get some gameplay with him. Uh-oh. Johnson getting a nice gain. He's going to be very tough to stop for the Seahawks defense, but I think they could be up to the task. Let's see what happens on second down. Oh, another run. This time we're ready for it. Can we get off the field? Bringing everyone up to the line of scrimmage. A little bit risky. Trying to get a quick three. Now it's another run. This time it's the toss and we're there. Seahawks defense forcing a punt. Let's see if we can get our run game going. Got great field position. Alexander cutting it back. Getting a nice gain. R1 wide open. Yes, sir. Stevens out the backfield picking up the first. Let's keep on passing this rock. I like Jackson in 101. Actually, I got X open. Ingram getting the first down. We're inside the 10. I'm going to try to go to the outside again. This time, the toss to the right. Here it is. Alexander with the speed getting in for the touchdown. There's the drive. That makes me feel confident they can get the dub. We're going to quit and sim the game. Can they win the Super Bowl? Yes! 34-24, 96 overall, Seattle makes it happen, Hasselbeck, a touchdown and a pick, Alexander, two touchdowns, 95 yards, great job by the Madden 07 Seattle Seahawks. Here we go in Madden 09, the Cowboys, who are also a 96, were led by Terrell Owens, Demarcus Ware, you had Tony Romo, 94 overall, at quarterback, Marion Barber, this offense was nasty, man, you had Jason Witten, 96 seven overall o-line scary 97 overall right guard everyone's at least an 80 same thing on the defense you can't find one weak spot zach thomas demarcus Ware, 98 overall terrence newman 95 roy williams as strong safety elite special teams cowboys go 12 and 4 they had the best record in the nfc tony romo with a pretty good season 26 touchdowns 13 picks marion barber had a thousand yards on the ground 10 touchdowns touchdown to had 15 touchdowns but didn't get a thousand yards receiving six sacks for canty and ellis to lead the way three interceptions for watkins and newman the cowboys make it to the super bowl so the madden 09 colts and the madden 09 cowboys both make it to the super bowl only one team can win so you have the team tied for the 10th highest overall since 2000 and then the team tied for the fifth highest overall going at it gonna watch one drive on offense from both teams peyton finds a wide Wide open man they're across midfield just like that yes this is super sim it was finally available around this time i'm not using any of the teams okay the cpu is controlling both of them we're able to watch from the colts perspective a die going nowhere second and ten peyton in a shotgun cowboy sending the blitz he gets rid of it to dallas clark third and one peyton dropping back they send another blitz reggie wayne with the catch they're down inside the 30 but there's a flag holding against dallas clark it's coming back so that's huge because it pushes them out of field goal range let's see if Peyton can get them back inside Vinatieri's range yes nice catch they pick up the first down what a play Peyton gonna hand it off Joseph a die up the gut diving in for the touchdown cold strike first now let's see what the Cowboys can do on their first drive Roma under center gonna hand it off oh never mind play action they got me Jason Witten with the first catch for the Dallas but he fumbles it and it goes out of bounds there's a penalty as well oh they're gonna call face mask okay so regardless dallas would have kept the football now you can tack on 15 to the end third and inches cowboys trying to keep the drive going another play action romo taking off and he's gonna get stopped behind a line of scrimmage cowboys end up settling for three super simming ahead cowboys end up taking the lead in the second quarter and it's a 20 to 7 ball game at the start of half number two can't count out peyton though that offense has so much talent they still have a chance 
it's still 20 to 7 at the start of fourth. Colts desperately need a stop. Cowboys get a field goal. Three minutes left. Indy has to get something on the board. There we go. 10 point game with a minute left. I don't think they uh, can make it happen. Still down 10. They have the football, but it's too little too late. And the Cowboys end up winning this one. Of all the teams in Madden 09, they're the one that comes away with the Super Bowl win. The Colts at least made it there. Tied for the third highest overall in Madden since 2000 is the Madden 07 Colts and the Madden 09 New England Patriots. Here we go in Madden 07 looking at Indianapolis. Peyton Manning the Sheriff was a 99 overall leading the way. Solid running back core but the wide receivers Harrison, Reggie Wayne, you had Dallas Clark at tight end. O-line once again phenomenal. Jeff Saturday at center leading the way. You had Robert Mathis, Dwight Freeney on the other side. Corey Simon at D tackle. Solid secondary with Bob Sanders, the heavy hitter, leading away. 97 overall Vinatieri as well. Colts get the one seed. They go 12 and four. Peyton with a nasty season. 52 touchdowns, five ints, 5,000 yards. Dominic Rhodes, 1,200 yards rushing. 2,000 yard receivers. Reggie Wayne and Marvin Harrison, and then 10 sacks for Dwight Freeney to lead everyone. Six ints from Mike Doss. MVP of course goes to Peyton. Harrison ends up in the top five so two Colts the Colts end up one game short of the Super Bowl 42 49 against the Chiefs high scoring game and here are the Madden 09 Patriots who were also a 97 overall second highest since 2000 Randy Moss Tom Brady both 99 overalls man you can see why they were so good Wes Walker 94 Ben Watson 87 you had a phenomenal offensive line four guys at a 90 overall or higher protecting Tom Brady no wonder why he was so dominant defense arguably even better I mean their front seven was stacked you had Rodney Harris and Goskowski Patriots go 10 and 6 they make it to the playoffs Brady 25 touchdowns 12 interceptions not a bad season Moroni was less than 70 yards away from a thousand 1200 yards receiving for Randy Moss Welker was 40 away from a thousand seven sacks for Seymour to lead everyone four interceptions Exceptions for Brewski and Bryant. Patriots came up short in the divisional round, lost 13 to 7 against the Steelers. And then tied for first place, we have two teams at a 99 overall, the only two teams since 2000 to be the max. And that's the Madden 02 Baltimore Ravens and the Madden 05 New England Patriots. We begin in Madden 02. The Ravens have two 99s and then four other guys at, at a 96 or higher, man. This is unbelievable how stacked they were they had elvis at quarterback no wonder why they were so iconic jamal lewis sam gash so a nasty running game of course shannon sharp one of the best tight ends ever ogden and cersei those are the only highlights of the offensive line to be honest e-line defense in general unbelievable uh, this might be one of the best defenses, if not the best in Madden history. Rod Woodson, okay, well, the strong safety is bringing him down just a little bit, but 98 overall kicker, 89 punter, and a 99 overall team. I can't believe it. The 99 overall Ravens did not make the playoffs. They go 7-9. Here's how they finished on offense. Rushing touchdowns, they were first in the league, but not the best at uh, every other offensive category. On defense, they were pretty good, okay? First in sacks. Run defense was wasn't the best, but everything else was average to above average. Elvis had 15 touchdowns, but 13 interceptions, 58% completion percentage. Not the best season for Jamal Lewis, second most attempts. He was the starter, but he didn't touch the ball the most. Shannon Sharp did his thing, could have got into the end zone a little bit more. Ray Lewis, 14 sacks, most tackles on the team. Rod Woodson, most interceptions tied with bowl wear. So defense did her job. They couldn't overcome the poor quarterback play all right here we go madden 05 let's see if the 99 overall patriots can end this with a bang okay ty law harrison vinatieri seymour and brady five players at a 95 and up and the most important position is actually really good unlike the ravens they might have been held back a little bit by the quarterback play oria graham ben watson at tight end o-line really good everyone's an 80 or higher d-line same exact situation matter 
matter of fact, every starter on the defense is an 80 or higher with multiple 90s. Asante's your CB3. I mean, this is just a stacked roster. They go 13 and 3, second in the AFC, only to Indianapolis. Brady with a pretty good season 29 touchdowns, 15 picks, 63% completion percentage, 13 touchdowns, and 1,100 yards for Corey Dillon. Corey Brown with 1,200 yards receiving. Two guys with nine sacks, Vrabel and Colvin. Seven interceptions for Poole, six for Samuel, and five for Ty Law. Offense was top five in a lot of major categories. Only thing they struggled in was running the football. Defense, elite as well. Top 10 in every major category. And look who they're playing in the first game of the playoffs, the Ravens. Gonna see if they can make it out of this alive. Yes, they catch the W, 21-16. Next up, the Raiders. Can they take care of them and keep on winning? Yes, 44-20. One game left. It's the New York Giants trying to spoil another Tom Brady Super Bowl. And there's no Super Sim, so I just want to see what one drive looks like with this 99 overall team. If they make it to the Super Bowl, any of these teams, we gotta at least see one drive, okay? Them's the rules. Come on, Brady. Oh, that's good defense. All right, let's try getting the run game going. Corey Dillon had himself a great season. You can see why already making people miss. Couldn't get back to line of scrimmage though. Third and 12. So I just send the blitz. See who we decide to go to. It's going to be Brown with the catch, but it's fourth down. Now let's see how they do on their own. Simulating the Super Bowl. And they made it happen. 27-24. Vinatieri with the game winner in overtime. Patriots finally beat the Giants in the Super Bowl. And they get it done in this video. Man, Tiki Barber, 187 yards. But Corey Dillon had over 100 as well. And he helped the New England Patriots get it done. And show why they're tied for the highest overall team in Madden history. So to sum up the video, we had about 14 total teams in the top 10 because of ties. But only three teams were able to win the Super Bowl. Only four teams made it. The Madden 09 Colts got there and lost. The Madden 09 Cowboys won. The Madden 07 Seahawks caught the dub in the Super Bowl. And so did the Madden 05 Patriots. Thanks for watching to the end. Subscribe for new around here. Please like the video. It helps a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next one.